Welcome back to Hometown TCG, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Josh. And I'm John. And we are here with the final installment of our Blitz Deck budget series, mm -hmm. where we are talking Welcome to Wraith Years. You guys asked us in the comments section, and we want to deliver for you. So we are talking budget decks for our Welcome mm -hmm. to Wraith Heroes. But before we get into it today, John, you got something for the people? That's right. We got our 500 subscriber live stream event where we are coming at you. We're going to talk in the chat, discuss fab, any questions you have. We're going to play some games and just kind of celebrate. Exactly. We don't get a chance to hang out with you guys live much, so we're going to go live. We're going to hang out and don't tell anybody, but we might give some stuff away to everyone who's around. Stay tuned. But for now, let's get right into Reinar and we want to talk about our budget deck and what it does well. Man, so this deck is a mid-range deck. It plays defense and it can go off. So its big turns are huge. They're That's what you're you're looking to finish someone off in kind of one turn. Yes, it feels like you have to have that one big turn, right? It's it's kind of chip away, you're doing that back foot, front foot, pressure, no pressure, but then boom, out of nowhere, you're looking to close this thing out. But that means you don't offer consistent pressure well, right? Right, it's turn to turn output is just not that high. Uh, so you have to understand the balance of, of how to play the deck. Exactly, and you're gonna need to plan out your turns and plan out when that big turn comes. So I like to think of this deck as a great learning experience for especially your newer players. It teaches what I call the beautiful dance of fab, right? The back foot, back foot into defending to knowing when to get aggressive, mm -hmm. kind of hammer on your opponent, and then maybe dance back a little bit, defend a little bit, more forward. So I love this deck. Right, and it's kind of cool because people think of like, oh, brute, big damage, smash with big tree. No, this is big brain, big brute. Yeah, you have to understand the flow of the game. It teaches you that. Well. Exactly, and you can get all of this excitement, all of this dancing and smashing for the low, low cost of $60.60. A great budget deck. But let's get into the actual deck itself, mm -hmm. and let's start by talking about our weapon and equipment. So uh, first off, claws, mandible claws. These are the big thing for the deck. Uh, this allows you to have your huge, huge turn. So that's kind of what it's built around. Uh, additionally, we do have romping club in the deck. Uh, and that's something you can side in if you need to play super defensive in a matchup. Yes, that's a great and consistent weapon for the event that you're going to be on that back foot a lot and you want to put out a little pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, so moving on, you have uh, Goliath Gauntlet, which is just... Is just good. It's extra <laughs> pressure for that big turn. It feels mm -hmm. like you need it. And at the budget level, there's not a whole lot else you can slot right. into that One hand of the slot. best, yeah, for your arms. Heart and Cross Strap also helps you get off that huge turn. Exactly. You might need a little extra pitch. It's there for you. And and finally, the the weirdest one of the deck, Snapdragon Scalers. Yeah, Snapdragon Scalers, it's pretty much just there for Savage Feast. It allows you to have a nice combo. Exactly. So Snapdragon Scale is there for pretty much one card, but we've talked a lot about this big combo. Mm. What's that going to entail? Okay, it, it revolves around Blood Rush Bellows. Yes. You have to get Blood Rush Bellows, so you probably get that in Arsenal It, and you're going to start with that, and then it allows you to do Claw, Claw, Big Attack. So each Claw is going to do 5 damage, plus your attack, it's probably a 6, so it's going to yes. do 8 damage, because it gets the buff. So that's 18 total with some intimidates that make your opponent not be able to defend with cards from their hand. It's probably going to get you the kill. Exactly. If you're able to chip away and kind of perform that dance we were talking about, right, where you're back foot and then maybe chipping away, doing a couple six attacks, mm -hmm. you can get your opponent low enough to really finish him off with that turn. So there's a lot of six damage attacks in this deck, right? There's, yeah. there's just tons of them because Brute needs them. Right. So, yeah, you're looking at those. We got... We want to have a good mix of red and yellow ones. Uh, red, obviously, because they're probably going to have a better effect and be more powerful. Brute strong. Yes. <laughs> but uh, the yellow ones, you want to be able to draw off of Blood Rush Bellow so you have enough pitch for your big turn. Exactly. So, so that's so those, what you're looking for there. Yes, that balance is absolutely necessary, and that allows you to decide on your turn. Mm -hmm. If maybe you ha didn't have to be as defensive, you are able to play these bigger attacks mm -hmm. that are bigger mm -hmm. than your claws, right, and apply a little more pressure right. or use them to defend. Yeah, that's part of just knowing when it's more efficient to attack and more efficient to defend. Uh, and then I do want to talk about one other important non-attack action besides uh, Blood Rush Bellow is Barraging Beatdown. Yes. This one uh, helps you take pressure off of yourself because... It makes your opponent defend. If you just do that into claw or that into club, uh, it's it's representing a lot of damage that they have to block with two cards. Yes, yeah, so it's forcing resources out of your opponent's hand, and it's a huge punish if they don't oblige. 
Yeah, and it's uh, it can help you on your big turns as well because it gets rid of a card from their hand to defend with and adds damage. Exactly. So even on your big turns, having a barraging beatdown mm -hmm. somewhere around is normally yeah. not a bad even thing. Even a blue one is really nice to get off. Yep, that intimidate effect is fantastic. Fantastic. So we've talked about this deck, and, and we mentioned mm -hmm. it's not just all brute strong, brute hit, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of, it's a brain game. It's 500 IQ, right? So how are we going to win games with this deck? Yes, yeah, so you have to look at your hand, and you have to do the math before you go for your big turn. On your big turn, it has to either kill them or put them down into critical life, meaning two life or less. Two or lower. And two it's, or lower. It has was, to, not three, it has to be two. Two or lower, and that is from the Brute Master himself, two or lower. And the reason for that is because of a card, Reckless Swing. So, auto two damage, your opponent can't do anything about it unless they have some sort of instant that can gain life. Uh, but, yeah, Reckless Swing is in incredible. You it's incredible in the deck. It allows you to play a game starting your opponent at 18 life. So, you really want to get them to two because at that point, as long as they're not throwing arcane damage, mm -hmm. they can't win the game. So, you're mm -hmm. in a great place. Uh, another way this deck wins is a deck, or it's a common theme we see with a lot of these budget decks. It uses pummel. Yeah, if, if your opponent uh, doesn't see it coming or if you have like your energy potion out on the field that can pay for it. Uh, Pummel can just close out a game for you. Absolutely. And the final win condition at this deck, I know we've talked about it over and over again, but it's your big brain. It's the practice you've had with mm -hmm. this deck, right? It's knowing what your opponent wants to do because this deck sits right in the middle of the meta. It can go hard. It can sit back and play defense. It's a wonderfully fun deck to play. It's a wonderfully fun deck to learn on. Mm -hmm. And I think we recommend you pick this one up ASAP. That's right. Uh, good one to learn, like you're saying. Uh, it's just fun, man. So I think that's going to wrap up our series on all these budget decks. And uh, I think they're great to kind of get all of them and just practice against each other because they'll teach you to learn the game at a fundamental level. Absolutely. So guys, get these decks built. Keep them around your kitchen table. Play with all your friends. And when you go to that armory, take home some wins. Try to take home that whole thing. And in the comments, let us know how you did. We're excited to hear uh, I think that wraps us up, though, so, right? So, yeah, uh, we got the deck list below in the description. Check that out, and uh, we'll catch you on our live stream coming at you soon. Yep, and until that live stream, my name is Josh. And I'm John. And we'll see you around.